Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and we've got another unboxing. Today it is the brand new X360 14C from HP. This is their new Chromebook, a 14 inch Chromebook. And we're going to have a full review of this soon on my main channel at lon.tv. They just updated their packaging now so it's all recyclable, so we don't have any styrofoam in here it looks like. And this is on loan from HP, so when we're done with this it goes back to them but all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. They are not paying for this unboxing, nor are they reviewing it or approving it before it gets uploaded. So let's take it out of the bag here. And this is a two-in-one, which means that when you have it in uh, laptop mode like so, you can flip it around and turn it into a tablet if you desire, or have it work in display mode or any one of those things. And this, of course, is running Chrome OS, and we're going to have a full review of this again soon so you can see all the different things you can do with Chrome OS. Uh, the cool thing about Chrome now is that you can run Linux apps, you can run Android apps, so it's a lot more now than uh, just a web browser. Uh, so it's got a 14-inch 1080p display. There's a couple of different versions of this. Uh, this particular one has a backlit keyboard and a fingerprint reader down here. And one of the frustrations that I've had with Chromebooks lately is that my daughter is using one now for school and we have to type her password in every time to log her back in. So with the fingerprint reader, you can more easily uh, switch between accounts. That's kind of nice to see. Uh, pretty nice here from a design perspective. It's got a nice rounded uh, corner here. The top part, the keyboard deck, is aluminum. Uh, the back part here is plastic, but it's also aluminum on the top. So it's partially metal and partially plastic. Uh, you have a bunch of ports here on the side. I'll flip it over to my overhead camera so you can get a look at that. Uh, right here we've got a USB Type-C port. That is a port that you can use for charging. You can also plug in USB devices and it also works as a display output. Uh, you have your power button here, your volume rocker there. Uh, this button here is for the webcam because they have a privacy shutter on the camera. So when you enable that, uh, the camera will block itself with a little shutter and it may not be visible yet because the computer is not yet on but that's something you can use if you don't want to put tape on your uh, webcam lens there you can do that instead on the other side we've got a micro SD card slot which you can use to augment its storage headphone microphone jack here and another USB-C port again uh, full service display power and data and then they have a traditional USB-A port here but because it's so thin, they have to have a little door on there to accommodate that. So this would take a normal USB hard drive or something like that, the larger USB connector there. So that is that for ports. Pretty nice compact package. This is a device that's been around. You know, they had one last year or a year or two ago, but it was a little larger. This one has thinner bezels, so they were able to fit the same screen size in a smaller package. So that's what they did there. Uh, power adapter is here, nothing crazy there, just a USB-C power adapter. And we're going to have a full review of this very soon on the main channel at lon.tv. So stay tuned, there'll be more to come on this. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters, including Gold Level supporters Tom Albrecht, Chris Allegretta, Mike Patterson, and Bill Pomerantz. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.